challenging and scenic and a little bit of history to it, so. This rock bounces. I'm Ricky B with RCV Performance. I'm Matt with Bustin' Knuckle Films, and this is the Southern Overland Adventure. You can't, you can't have a Jeep and just simply drive by an RTI ramp. Yeah, this is, uh, we have we have now learned how to Jeep people, and this is what you do. Oh, actually, that's it's not supposed to be a Jeep under one of them. Yeah, we're all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah. We are the final trail ride day and we are at Busted Knuckle Off-Road Park in Stevenson, Alabama. Now this is our 600 acre off-road park and we got tons of good Jeep trails, Razor trails, Rock Bands trails, you name it. So today we're finally, this is why I built this Jeep, is to come out here and play at the park. So we're going to see what it can do. All right, so the first trail we're gonna to do today is Northern Loop. It is a long, rocky trail. It should take us probably over an hour to get it all done in the Jeeps. And uh, it's a crowd favorite here at the park. Busted Knuckle Off-Road Park is 605 acres located in Northeast Alabama in Stevenson. And uh, it was originally purchased um, by my family back in 2006 and it was our hunting property and uh, if any of you have ever been riding here I'm sure you've noticed uh, the numerous amount of tree stands we have up in the woods um, but we hunted it for about 11 years and during that time I started working for Matt at Busted Knuckle and started doing some editing and social media work for him Ricky wants the hero line. Go for the hero line. I'll try it. Oh. Nice. trail so far. It's a good time. Yep, I like it. Little rocks, a little wet. I mean, really, no dust. Real interesting if it rained like 15 minutes beforehand. Yeah. Whole different trail. That's right. Yeah. That's all I really did. He bumped it hard enough, it might slide over it. Motor's gonna get you in trouble. And, you know, I've, I had been, you know, an off-road fan my entire life. Always had, you know, bikes and ATVs and whatnot and thought, you know, we were kind of getting ready to sell the property and, and thought, you know, this would be a killer riding spot. 
you know we had our basic uh you know trail to some to the tree stands but you know nothing serious so kind of went out on a limb and decided we'd we'd turn them apart and try it and see if we could host a few events and see what happened so we started uh right after got back from king of the hammers in 2017 went to work and had our first event in april srs race and been busy ever since cutting trails and uh it's it's really been a been a fun experience we've we've had several events now and people seem to really enjoy it so uh yeah a little bit that's it just rock bounce it is that not what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. It, the Jeep thing, you're supposed to go slow, right? Oh. I'm not a good Jeep with it. I don't know. Check out a few of the trails in this video. These are some of the, some of the more crowd favorite trails for, uh, you know, full-size rigs. And come see us sometime. We're always cutting new trails and always something new for you, even if you've been here. So come check us out. Hope you enjoy. You're, you're, that's it right there. You may have to bump it a little bit. That's a rock bouncer hill, Ricky. You don't want none. Back and back off of that looks like a challenge. So you've done Northern Loop in your Jeep. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, so this is the first time doing Northern Loop in the Jeep, but you know, I've only done it in the Razor. And uh, you know, I wasn't sure what to think about it when I first started this whole Jeep project. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be a Jeep guy. And to be able to jump in it, cruise down the highway at 80 miles an hour at 70 speed limit and hit the trails that were challenging in a razor, challenging in, in most trail rigs, and air up the tires and hit the highway again is is pretty great. So I am uh, I'm, I'm definitely digging what this uh, overland uh, exploring Jeep thing is shoveling for sure. Heck yeah. And we, we did that whole trail in like an hour? It really yeah, wasn't that long. Only because we filmed it. I mean, we could have cruised through there. I, we, we really didn't run into any problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a level, I mean, what seven out of ten or something like that yeah. six out of ten i mean if it was wet it would have been a challenge but right. we cruised through it we have some very capable vehicles fortunately um with no issues so heck yeah on to the next one all right ready to go So we built this trail uh, for my birthday event called RBD um, this year. This was the 11th year and I moved it to Busted Knuckle Off Road Park. And while we were cutting this trail, it was, it was pretty difficult and it was kind of being a pain in our butts. And um, you know, we thought about a couple clever names to name it to let people understand that it's kind of tough and uh, you know, kind of not nice. And we thought, well, Jolene was not very nice you know she kind of took whatever she wanted and, you know so this takes a lot of parts from you it takes a lot of blood and sweat and uh so we named this trail jolene for rbd and it's turned into one of the premier obstacles at the park Right there, turn right. Right there. Nailed it. <laughs> One more back up. 
Yeah, yeah on your back right. Really tough, man. Just put it right there, just bump it. Wow. Good work. Thank you. So that's the only bad spot. Well, it's not the only bad spot, but it's probably the worst. Oh. Wait on you, boss man. Metal the rock sound. Did you just grab another gear? I think so. I think you need to like hit it from there. Yeah. Okay. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money. That's right. It's like 80 something degrees out here in the woods and running around spotting people. It's hot. And that is the best part about jeeping is you just turn that AC up here, turn it on full blast. Ah, way better. Call this one Lady Humps. I'm not sure why they let Ricky and Carter name it. It ain't easy. Whoops. One more shot. One more. up there egging everybody on in the razor. Yeah, you're good now. I think I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna break That was fun. You did bring a trailer. <laughs> yeah, but I have to wrench on it if I break it. Oh, yeah. Valiant effort, though. Yeah? Your turn? I don't have the horsepower. Right? That was a fun little trail right there. Jolene, probably one of the it's, it's difficult in the Jeep, 
we uh, we definitely had to work for it in a few spots, do a little mild rock bouncing in the Jeeps, but yeah, definitely a great trail here at the park. We're gonna finish things up by running over the top loop perimeter south up here and then down the power lines and that'll be it for the day. Don't get much better than that right there. Let's see for miles. You can't you can't have a Jeep and just simply drive by an RTI ramp. Yes, this is a we have we have now learned how to Jeep people and this is what you do. Oh. Actually that's it's not supposed true. to be a Jeep under one of them. Yeah, we, or all we're of supposed them. to stack tires. Oh, okay. We screwed this all up. Yeah. I like it. Nice. So what we're we're four days into this now. We started here and we got here and actually swapped out the front axles. RCV wanted us to try out their new 35 spine stuff, so we we swapped those in to give them a shot, and they worked flawlessly. Um, you know, then the next day, uh, I guess that was Wednesday, um, out at Windrock. I mean, first obstacle of the day, just <laughs> nasty. I mean, like I'm up there looking at these knife edge rocks, and how the hell are we gonna make it through there? But we did, you know. So. Made it through there and then, uh, boy, hit some really sketchy stuff up at the top. I mean, we're talking, it was it was a ridge. I mean, it couldn't have been but 10 feet wide, you know, and 100 feet down this way and another 100 feet down this way. I mean, you're, you're rolling. It, right. So that was fun. Um, the guy from Windrock Park, Brent, did an amazing job spotting everybody through there. So, I mean, thank you, Brent, for, for all that. Yesterday was probably the highlight of my trip, honestly, like seeing the uh, the abandoned train. The prison was super cool, yet creepy all at the same time. Um, and then, then we got to drive through a tunnel. So this train tunnel had to have been 15 feet inside height, full of like a foot deep of water, and probably a mile long is my guess, but I mean, you couldn't see light at the other side, so that was way cool, like not knowing, is this thing ever gonna end? And then today we're, we're back at the Busted Knuckle Off-Road Park and these guys showed me around and uh, there's some trails out here that are, there's some obstacles that I tried, I didn't succeed, but boy, I gave her hell. All right. Yeah, so the nitro gears worked good, the RCV axles worked good, I mean, I couldn't ask for much more. So you're definitely in for the next trip, right? Yeah, we're in. It was awesome. a good time. Yep. So for an event like this, you know, you need reliable parts, you need quality equipment, and you need to be, be able to believe in your vehicle to take it on a 500 mile trip through the woods and the highway. That's asking a lot for, for many pieces of equipment. So um, we, we believe we provide the strongest axle on the planet. So that peace of mind is worth so much when you're out on the trail. Um, we built this Jeep for dual purpose. We were going to take it on the woods, we are going to take it on the highway. We drove it, as soon as we finished building it, we drove it 1,500 miles to Jeep Beach and back and then did this 500 mile trail ride. Um, we chose quality American made parts and we succeeded with no issues at all. All right, the purpose of the RCV Southern Overland Adventure presented by Busted Knuckle Films was to go out and basically see see the sights of Tennessee and Alabama. Uh, we, we built some really good rigs, we put some good parts in them, and we just wanted to prove to people that you can mildly build a Jeep and put the right parts in it, and you can go out and trail ride, have a great adventure with a bunch of good friends, and that's what overlanding is all about. It's not about having a tent on the roof of your Jeep, it's about going out and, and having fun, and it's the adventure of it. It's not the destination, it's you know the, the trip, and we've got, so many cool stories to tell from this. Um, challenging, scenic, and a little bit of history to it, so. Just rock, man. I'm Ricky B with RCV Performance. I'm Matt with Bust Knuckle Films, and this is the Southern Overland Adventure.
can't you can't have a Jeep and just simply drive by an RTI ramp. Yeah, this is uh, we have we have now learned how to Jeep people, and this is what you do. Oh, actually, that's not supposed to be a Jeep under one of them. Yeah, we're all of them. Oh, okay. Yeah.